What's up guys, it's Dr. Nemesis, and we're starting the episode today with a look at my profile. So currently I'm at 4,000 trophies, uh, my all-time high is 4521, my, cur- my current favorite deck, and I am level 12. Um, yeah, so in case uh, you were wondering about my profile, there it was. Alright, so today we're actually going to be playing with this deck. It is a bait deck. Um, I've seen it all over the place, YouTube, the leaderboard. It's currently number one in the world, um, and its win rate is through the roof. Obviously, our win condition is the Goblin Barrel. We've got a Knight to tank up and kind of help defend. Rocket for massive damage on the tower or, you know, just heavy troops. Princess for splash and control. Uh, the Goblin Gang for support. Um, we got the Ice Spirit as kind of a cycle card. The Log as our primary spell. And then we got the Infernal Tower on defense. So, um, like I said, this deck is all over the place right now. And I haven't really played with it. So, whenever I need to practice a deck or get you know kind of familiar with it i always do a classic challenge so that's what we're gonna do let's get started we're playing against the hack from alcatraz all right so i am a very counter offensive player i i i tend to just wait and counter whatever I want. So he's going to start with a knight, I'm going to drop mine down, and he just pumps, so I'm going to go hard on the other side because I know he doesn't have the elixir to defend it. And here we go, the goblins and the goblins are going to get some good damage in on the tower, while my knight smacks his other knight on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and hit him, going to deal too much damage. Ooh, neat. He's got a... Uh, a battle ram. Uh, I dropped the Inferno Tower um, mainly because it's, you know, I just didn't want to take that damage. And we're going to rocket this pump over here because that is value city all day long. I got damage on the tower and I got damage on the pump. Or I took out the pump, actually. All right. Let's slow down a little. Three Musketeers. Oh boy. All right. So, I don't really have anything at the moment to handle the Musketeers. Um, this princess should sort of deal with the one on the left. And I'm just going to throw everything on the right. Try and take the other ones out. Because if I don't, that's going to be some serious damage. Alright, so cool. Stopping the ram. Let's go. Perfect. Alright, so these barbs are going to get a little bit of damage. Gotta drop the knight in front of them. Got a knight and the princess on the right. I'm gonna toss a barrel right now. And let's see what he's got for it. A goblin gang. Oh man. One thing I gotta say, you never let the knight get to your tower. It, it, people ignore him all the time. But he can do so much damage. I'm gonna log this. It was a little bit late because of the uh but we are able to cancel out this uh, push. I'm gonna rock with this pump um, just because I really, I know he's not gonna take any value out of it, but I just wanna get it out of the way. And I know I can handle the three musketeers now that we have a tower again. So I'm gonna go ahead and princess these two on the right. And let's ice here to get a cycle going. Inferno Tower to build up some defense, and then the same thing I did last time. Not good job. Into that push. Good game, and that's it, guys. So not too bad. Um, you know, the three Musketeers are definitely a tough deck to beat in any situation. Um, you know, I I just kind of handled that that pretty well i guess so um let me think yeah i mean classic challenges are the best way to to test out a deck um i can't really think of any other way you don't really risk trophies on ladder and you're not risking um 
anything you know in 2v2 screwing over a buddy or a partner or anything like that so i think the inferno tower might need replacing or even the knight um but i'm gonna leave it the same um just to try and get a feel for it so let's go battle number two against macon mister all right what do we got here so um i'm thinking Oh shit. Alright, he's got a goblin barrel. I'm gonna counter with goblin gang because I did not have my uh, log in rotation. And I'm gonna counter with my own goblin barrel. And it looks like he doesn't have his log either. Alright. Uh, I wanna log this, but I'm gonna knight. That was a bad night placement. Now I have to log in because otherwise this is gonna be bad all day long. Um, the Inferno Tower is in. I got to use my Goblin Gang again along with the Just to kind of help mitigate the damage. Alright, so I'm going to go with another Goblin Barrel. It seems like we're playing a mirror matchup right now. Um, Alright, this is where we fix our rotation. I'm going to drop the Princess. And here we go. There it is. Log. Princess and take out his sister we're both gonna take each other out so now our rotation is fixed whenever that happens to you you know just kind of you, you gotta try and fix it if you're if you're on a bad rotation you gotta take the damage and you gotta adjust to it i'm super confident the rest of this match now that my rotation is the way that i need it to be all right so we're going to, go to, to catch up tonight I'm not going to support it because it would be useless. So I'm going to drop a nice spirit with a goblin barrel and I'm going to launch a rocket so that he doesn't counter it. He's zapped. Alright, so we're up here in the I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a log. He has a zap. I'm pretty sure he has a zap. Alright, so my log is ready to go. And I just took out the spirit. That's fine, my towers took out the rest. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna push with a knight, goblin gang, and I'm gonna throw the barrel. He has a zap, yeah, he doesn't have a log. So my knight, again, locking onto the tower. I'm gonna throw my log, and my princess is getting value right now. I'm gonna inferno tower this with a knight, and then I'm gonna ice spirit everything. I'm going to drop the goblin gang, and I'm going to toss a log. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, goblin barrel. I just defended a goblin barrel with a goblin barrel. That's not the best idea. Um, and I don't think we could build up another push, so I just threw my rocket. <laughs> Whew. All right. So, in all honesty, the defining the... The real moment in that was just him having a zap instead of the log. Um, I, I, if it's if it log, I don't know. I feel like the log has to be in there. So we won the last two. I did lose one um, before uh, before recording the video. I lost that uh, doing something else. Um, but anyway, let's get into match number three. I'm um, still not going to change the deck at all. Let's see what's going on against... Oh, I don't know what that is, but he's from the clan something, too. All right. Uh, let me think. Got my spirit princess log and goblin barrel. He's got a bandit. I'm going to drop a princess. Yay. Try and uh, stuff this. Oh, what? Okay, so he dropped his minor to take out the princess. I'm gonna toss a bit and he drops a mega. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Mega Knight is oh man and he has bats. Princess, go! Oh my god. Too early on the dark game. Oh no. Bandit and Mega Knight. These two are about to clean out the tower. 
Should stop him. Oh man. No! Oh man. Yeah, it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got stomped by the Mega Knight. That's awesome. Oh man. I just. I don't know what happened. I guess I just don't know what to do against that deck, but it just stomped me hard those bats man so we're gonna put the zap in for the ice spirit just because i i know for a fact there's a lot of bats in the in the meta right now um and the ice spirit is a good card i'm just not confident with it so we're gonna take the zap instead for this match if it doesn't work and i get stomped even harder then i guess ice spirit's gonna have to stay but against emperado mvp uh, it's starting to look kind of like a mirror match, but you never know. All right, so he's got a knight coming down and a princess. I'm going to go ahead and Inferno Tower, and I'm going to Goblin Gang this. All right, so princess on the left, going to take out his princess, and he threw his log. Yes. He has bats too. Boom, baby. That zap is going to clean up those bats every single time. And he just threw a naked rocket for no reason. I'm going to drop a knight just to see if we can get to the tower. And he drops an inferno tower. Wow. I know he has no elixir right now. Our advantage is massive. He threw a rocket and then an elixir. Or, and then an Inferno Tower, and I just logged his Goblin Gang, which I'm pretty sure he barely had enough for. This guy's living on the edge of the Elixir Spectrum. Alright, Princess gonna clean that up. I'm super confident in this match. I'm gonna throw a Trick Barrel, and then a Goblin Gang. He's gonna miss, which is exactly what we wanted. And our princess is now laying into everything. Perfect, perfect. Got a knight. We're going to take his knight out. Drop the princess. Get the log ready. Oh, I clipped one. I clipped one, but only one of them got some hits in. And my knight makes it to the tower again. So much damage. All right, here we go. Goblin gang. He had a good, a good log right there. All right, this tower's going to clean up those goblins. He's going to rock at me. I'm going to return the favor. I know right now he's he sees we have we are countering everything to him. So he's he's just trying to rock at me down. So another trick barrel, not going to work this time, buddy. He's trying to get that uh that damage in zap for those spear goblins cuz they are the most annoying. We're going to go ahead and princess his princess. Oh, no, he logged. I'm going to goblin barrel. And here we go. Come on. We're going to rock it. We're going to log, and we're going to zap. Yes. Whoo. So close. 
two more seconds and that would have been a tie and we would have had a war in overtime whoo i am exhausted i'm not gonna lie so playing the deck in a classic challenge um definitely need some more practice with it um i'm three and one right now uh the next video that i do um will continue the challenge um putting in the zap for the ice spirit um they're very interchangeable ice spirit's a good counter to the bats i just felt like i it wasn't i can't control it enough and i'm a very um controlling player so you know that's that's all i can say about that the zap for me um is a little bit better than the ice spirit but this is the deck it is the number one deck in the world um instead of zap it's the ice spirit um i just you know that's what i do i i fix decks to my liking um but that's gonna do it for this video guys until next time peace